episode two, season two. Let's get back into it. So we're picking up where we left off, which was finishing up the conquest of Ifni. Another thing that I want to do in this playthrough is keep a really good historical timeline. So somewhere in here, you should see the dates for the Battle of Ifni. So good job editing Chris and putting that in there. <laughs> editing Chris hates Chris that does the videos because Chris that does the videos always says random shit and then I gotta go find the shit and throw the shit into the video. So like if it's a reference, you know what I'm saying? That's why I gotta be careful with the references that I be using because then I gotta go find the shit. And what if I can't find it? Then the whole video don't make sense. So fortunately up to this point, I've been able to find all of the references uh, and I hope you enjoy them uh, as I throw them out there. So getting back into the game, Sheik Cristobal has just taken the territory of Ifni, uh, just finished up the conquest. We had two major battles uh, and we were able to win both of the battles. Uh, and now what we're doing is we're going on a little bit of a raiding tour, our first raiding tour. We on a war tour. <laughs> so, oh, so we're getting a court physician. So the world is full of dangers, even to a sheik in his court. Oh, this dude is really, really qualified. Hey, Hesso, welcome. Welcome, Hesso. Welcome to the inner circle, my friend. Let me show you to your new apartment. And if everything goes well uh, in the future, we'll get you a wife and hopefully y'all have a whole lot of kids that'll be a part of the court. Hesso. Man. Hesso is a three-star physician. That's very difficult to find in the beginning of the game like this. We know we don't have a player here. Ooh, we can update a perk. All right, cool. All right, so like I said in the previous episode, I think we're going to start with Star Wars Leader. Just in case, because in the first couple of years, you, meaning me, I have to lead my armies. Uh, and because, oh look, I'm not so chubby no more. Ah, so going to war for those three, four years, uh, I should be about 19 or 20 at this point. Uh, going to war for those couple years, I lost a couple of pounds. <laughs> I'm not that fresh-faced, fat kid no more. Now, I'm a sheik who's led an army. And that's probably why, oh, we got the, um, we got a, uh, truce. Oh, so I can't do it. Okay, so I can't read here. All right, so let's move on to the next motherfuckers. Let's get this money in Asfi and Tamasna. I don't want to take all of those territories because this is a perfect way for me to make a little bit of money early in the game. At this point, all we're trying to do is save up as much fame and as much money as possible. Obviously, what you want to use your fame on in the beginning like this is to build up your troops. You need as many specialized troops as you can get because those specialized troops are the difference between winning and losing. Oh, look, it's a little baby. Ifni Ibn Uba Uwe. In my piety, God inspired me. Good house words. All right, Ifni. Did I take, uh, I think I captured Ifni in the, uh, in the battle. Okay. All right, so Ifni, I tell you what. We will, I will take you in as a ward, as a squire. I will teach you the ways of battle. If you're able to get those lessons and pass the school of hard knocks, a hard life, the, is this a hard life? Uh -huh. <laughs> Editing and Chris like, motherfucker. <laughs> So we gonna become the guardian of Ifni, uh, and we gonna teach him our ways. Maybe one day he'll be a son-in-law. Who knows? We'll have to see what the future will hold for baby Ifni 
and House Ubai. In the meantime, I'm probably going to get a couple of other squires, maybe even a wife, we'll see, uh, during this particular raid, which again is our first. Everything is new. We're doing a lot of firsts, and we hit the ground running. We weren't even settled into the castle good, but we was like, all right, we out. Let's go start some shit. And the reason why is because when you're sitting on that island, there's really nothing to do. You're just sitting in the castle, not even the castle, sitting in your hut, bored as shit, playing Tetris on your Game Boy. And it's like, man, fuck this. This life sucks. I want some action. So my man got the builders to build a couple of boats from the huts. And motherfuckers was just sleeping outside for a little while, for those two and a half years. Not a lot of people. We don't even have a big city yet. So it's just a couple motherfuckers displaced. The huts, wood that we use from the huts, we refashioned those into ships and sails. And we used those to go across the water. And we did a surprise attack uh, on Sheik, Zamu, the guy from Zamor. And we stole, we cut up his territories in half. So that guy owned uh, Agony, Ifni, and Zamor. So what we did is we split his territories in half, uh, which gives us a direct pass to either go north, and I can go north into Spain and then to Morocco, and maybe even uh, west uh, along the coast, of course. Uh, and seeing where I can raid up there. But this gives me the ability to do as much raiding as I need to. All right, so since we got a little bit of downtime while we continue our raids, uh, let's send out some squires and let people know that I'm looking for a wife for my court physician and champion, Hesso. Hesso is uh, Swabian. Uh, he's a Catholic, but he's used to fighting in cold territories. Now, let's see. So we could marry him to, there's two Gitas? Cause we got Gita the, that's not the same Gita, is it? No, it's not. Cause there's a Gita that's a spy master. There must be two women out here named Gita. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so Hesso is married to Gita, but also Utilian is also married to, um, Agita. So who else we got in our court? We got Adam, who is one of our weaker champions, but he would make one hell of a diplomat. Uh, so let's go ahead and recruit Adam to court. We only got to pay him. Ooh, not yet. Let's do that when we get back from the raid. <laughs> My money looking a little funny right now. <laughs> money looking a little funny. So we'll get you taken care of when we get back. So we got Hesso, we got Munio. Now Munio is a coward and he's also sick. Uh-oh. Well, now that Hesso's here, he should get you taken care of. Hey, Munio was not playing. They already had a baby. Miyasa bent Miyasa. Okay, all right. We already got our first baby in, in the court. All right, and it wasn't made by me. <laughs> So we gonna wait a little while before we have kids. We trying to live, we trying to live out in these streets. We trying to get our raid on for now. And then when we come back, we'll deal with all that shit, all that getting married. Who wants the drama? Being single is easy. You get to live your life out here uh, with the boys. You know what I'm saying? Raiding, stealing, getting money. That's the life, man. When you're 19 years old, I'm just 19. I'm not trying to settle down yet. Bitches be on some bullshit. These hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> Y'all know what it is. Come on, man. I ain't got to explain that. Uh-oh. We got a little situation brewing. I would imagine those are probably the people from Ifni, man. Uh, and I know that I got to get married, too. So we'll, 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 just relax. We know. Thank you, game. I got 13 gold. But hopefully by the end of this little trip, we'll go up maybe... So that's 39. By the end of this, we'll probably be close to 100. Maybe even 100. We'll see. That'll be nice. Uh, so so that'll get us 100 gold and maybe about 100 or close to 100 prestige. We're looking okay as far as the piety, but look at that renown. Only 14. Ooh. 
Don't nobody give a fuck about the Dogani dynasty. It's not even a dynasty at this point. It's one dude. <laughs> Literally one guy just out here uh, raiding people and shit. Like, here, let me give you my card. <laughs> my calling card is the fucking torched hutch and the, and the shit that I stole. <laughs> hey, we got another baby. Adderball, Ivan, Zephun, Azamarid. Welcome, young man. You will also become my squire. I promise to take really good care of you. You are a fighter. I can see it. Already, he's at a, a six. Hopefully, one day, this young man will be an outstanding commander in my army. And not only that, but if he turns out to be a good commander, I will give him the county that I stole him from. So you, one day, my friend, will inherit that territory or territories. Maybe he might be a king one day. Or maybe his family might be a king. So we don't have that many great houses yet. At the end of this video, I'll break down how many great houses we have so far since it's so early on in the game so we can keep track of these houses. So we're only in 871. So since it's only 871, we should be able to keep track of some of these very old ancient houses to kind of see what happens with them, to see if they survive, if they die out, and, and why. So we will definitely want to keep track of that shit this playthrough. Uh, make it feel more real. Far from home, a stranger's brought before me. She's been waiting outside the gates for a week. The woman bows deeply. My name is Fatim. I've traveled far and wide and seen many things, but my family and I are weary of the road. If you allow us to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. All right, shorty. Well, let me see what your family look like. Let's see what we got here. You got two daughters. All right. But, okay, so you calm and you compassionate. Who is this nigga with you? He coming to? Well, what about your daughters? Let me see. So your oldest is Fatim. She fucking hates me. And she's zealous for that whack-ass religion? I don't know about that. I don't, I, don't, I don't know about that. And then the little one. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. First of all, you and your kids mad ugly. Uh, your husband ugly and he a midget. We have no room for the likes of you. Be gone! Be gone, fuck! Get out of my face. <laughs> Sorry, but nah, you good. Find someone else to hang out. You're not even in my religion. Fuck out of here. Nah. Now, anyway, back to the rating. So we only got one more territory to cover. Again, with this particular playthrough, we're taking things slow. I'm not in a rush to get married. Not in a rush to claim a bunch of territories. What, I, what I'm trying to do right now is get to know my commanders. I felt like this particular raiding campaign, uh, which should only take us about a year, another baby, Ruza Bit Unas, Bargawa. Bargawata, sorry. Bargawata. <laughs> Man, these last name, boy, I tell you what. So that makes another house. So what we're gonna do is we'll probably get her matched up with one of the lowborns. So then that way, if this general, if those generals, if they have, um, if they have children, they'll at least fall under a house. So we'll keep a group. We'll probably keep a couple that are just stay lowborn. But as much as possible, we'll try to get those girls to marry the guys matrilineally, so then that way they could carry on the name, even though the little girls uh, can't have any land, uh, their children or their sons, uh, who will be a combination of the lowborn and of the nobility, will be able to inherit lands. And from that is how we'll grow our new vassals. Hopefully, by creating vassals in that way, It'll breed loyalty between the vassals so that way they're not constantly fighting one another 
trying to take each other's territory. You got to manage that as well. It's not just taking over territories, because once you take over the territory, who are you going to give it to? Who gets the territory? If you give it to your kids, then this one, your son will be fighting your other son, trying to take the territory because both of them have a claim to it. Whereas if you grow people that are already in that area, number one, the control factor will be much higher because they'll already be from that place. Two, um, you'll have a much easier time transitioning. And three, they're not coming after your title because none of them have claims. Remember that the more children that you have, the more claimants that you create. That's why if you have six sons, don't be surprised if son number three come knocking after a while, trying to take over everything because you died and now your 15 year old son is trying to manage the whole fucking kingdom and his older brother's mad that he was the one chosen. <laughs> or his uncles, you know what I'm saying? Or aunts or whatever it is, you know, you just, you gotta manage these type of things. And the easiest way to do that is by giving territories to people that you trust, but that, I mean, you want to give your family some power. It's like what um, Vito told Sonny about, uh, what's his sister's name? About his the sister's husband. And that give him a job, but don't tell him so much about the family business. It's the same thing here. You want to give your sons territories, but not so many territories to where they can raise up a big enough army in the event that you die. You want to keep, you want to be able to manage those things. Uh oh, to the squeamish sheet, Christopher, we've been burdened with your present loss for far too long. No more. We're done paying your taxes. Once your coffers dry up and you, whatever, you will wish you had treated us more fairly. No, nope, never. A peasant's lot is to serve their Lord. I guess we're going back to war. So this will be our third major, oh, <laughs> motherfucker. All right, man, fine, let's get it. So this will be our third battle, our first peasant revolt. Uh, and we're gonna have to put this down quickly so then that so then motherfuckers know that we ain't playing no games. They tested me because I'm young. Um, so first thing we're gonna have to do is get our soldiers back to Ifni with the spoils of war. Who is this? Wally Arusa. No kids? 24? I should steal your wife, homie. Nah, you good. You can have her back. I ain't tripping. You can have her. Uh, so we gotta get our soldiers back into our territories and from there, we gotta get back on the boat. We gotta head over to Fort Ventura land in Puerto Ventura, make sure that we debark all of the troops, it takes 30 days, and then we'll cross the bridge over. I'm not, I'm not scared. It's one of the trickiest things to do, and it's one of the reasons that Gran Canaria is very difficult to assault. If you're already in Gran Canaria, it is virtually impossible to take. For example, if I had, let's say, 4,000 troops and 6,000 troops landed in Puente, uh, Puente Ventura and tried to come into Grand Canales, I would kill those 6,000 troops, even though they had more. The reason why is because you're crossing the water, so it's like you gotta cross that bridgeway no matter how you look at it. So there's a natural defensive uh, advantage to having your main territory be like this. but. If you're trying to recapture it, or if you're trying to assault the assaulters, it's very dangerous unless you got more than enough troops or they're not well trained as is the case right here. I'm about to light this motherfucker up. You motherfucker. You about to get this work, man. I don't even know why you starting shit. I've just started. I only got a hundred dollars. What the fuck you talking about taxes? Nobody even really paying taxes like that. That's the thing. So now it's time to get this work. So here we go. Once again, it's on. Here we go. Eleven hundred eighty-six to his four hundred and seventy. So again, because.
because of the water crossing, I'm already naturally at a disadvantage. But because he has no men at arms, he should be able to fight. So let's see, got him down to 200. Let's see, 1100 for me. So we lost only 68. The ghost, we want to lose less than 100. We can lose less than 100. That'll be a successful battle. I mean, considering we had close to 500 troops to start. All right, we got that basket. All right, man, so there goes your little, your little revolt. How you feeling about everything now? So what y'all think? Should I burn his ass to the stand? Give him a little bit of taste of how old King Cristobal handles those type of revolts? Y'all remember, right? Let me show you real quick. There you go, sire. Father! My balls was hot. My balls was hot. I don't know. Let's see. Let me see. So he's brave. He's callous and he's impatient, which is why he did what he did. But he's robust and he has, and he's a three-star general. Maybe I handle things differently this time, instead of killing him. I could execute him, but let's see if I can't turn him. Let's see if I can't make him a loyal subject. They say keep your friends close, but you enemies closer well abdul azim let me show you to your new apartment <laughs> welcome my friend i know that uh you probably weren't expecting this but yeah you like what the fuck what the fuck is going on what the hell is this shit <laughs> damn <laughs> That motherfucker hate me, damn, negative 99. Well, let's see if we can't change that. Let me, I'm gonna spend some time with you, man. Hang out with him, go out to the movies, uh, you know, watch a couple football games, uh, play video games together at the arcade and shit. You know, go take long walks on the coastline. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, before it's all said and done, uh, he won't try to kill me in my sleep. <laughs> Hopefully, right? We only in episode two. <laughs> so can I create the Duchy of Canetas? No, I cannot. Damn. Five dollars short. Damn. All right, so I could raid again. I could also ask uh, the priest for money. Or maybe I don't have that option yet. Uh, I mean, I just, if I, if I wait a couple months, I should be, I have enough money. So we got Murio, Ugarthian, Ertilian, and Gita. See, that's the other Gita because uh, the first Gita, well, this is the first Gita. The other Gita is now married to Murio. Uh, so we got two Gitas in the motherfucking house. Uh, 16 months to go. All right, so the, as far as the core positions, we only got one. We got a court physician. We'll fill all of that other shit out later. But what I can do is go ahead and get my fifth commander. So, okay, so we'll give Alan $11. All right, Alan, welcome, my friend. Huh. All right, so now we got five commanders. Our original five. So there's Hesso, and Hesso is married. Then there's Abdul Azim. And then we got Munio, who already has a daughter. Uh, Miasa. Miana? Miasa. Beth Miasa, right? Uh, Yellum. No. We go, we go. Yellum is not one of our commanders, but he is in the court. And then we just got our fifth guy which is Adam, and then Yugi is our steward for now. So we'll, 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 we don't want him fighting, but we'll keep him around for now. So we'll make sure that we don't have those two guys around. We don't need those. They can hang out, but they can't be uh, commanders. All right, so we need to make sure that, that the rest of these guys get married. All right, so Adam, welcome. Uh, you are the fifth knight of the Royal Guard, so welcome. Damn, Adam is a 17? 
Damn. 17 for diplomacy. Ooh. He's a, a, a hell of a diplomat. All right, so let's see. Uh, oh, we can already do another perk. All right, so let's go with strategy. Cost less to, uh, yeah, the Cassie Bellum costs less if you unlock this one, which definitely helps for when we're trying to start fights. Right now, during this transition phase, we're gonna get to the shits, right? But for now, just a little bit of housekeeping needed to be taken care of. So as promised, um, as far as the houses, if you look right here, you should see all of the houses that we have now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep track. We're gonna do like a house watch, not every episode, but every couple of episodes uh, to try to keep track of everybody. But let's see if I remember the five commanders. Uh, there's Munio, Abdul Azim, Heso, Ertilian, I'm missing somebody, and Adam. Bam! So those are my five Munio, Adam, Abdul Azim, Ertilian, and. Um, Asshole. <laughs> there we go. So it's a good sign if I can remember all of the names of the guys that we just in episode two. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed episode one. Hope you enjoyed episode two. If you like the content, give it a like. We'll see you on the next episode. Should we find the wife? I think it's about time maybe that we go ahead and settle down. We've already gotten our foothold into the mainland. We've already been on our first raid run. So now I think, yeah, I think it might be time for us to find a way. So stay tuned for that. We'll catch you in the next one. We out.